In the wake of the Ocean Gate disaster, questions still linger about what the loss of five lives will mean for future expeditions to the Titanic. But for one explorer who's led multiple expeditions to the wreckage, it's time to call it quits. I think we're getting to the point where we're sort of saturated with uh, Titanic information. It's by far the most studied shipwreck in the world, and maybe it's time to say thank you and, and good night. Rob McCallum's comments come as a new plan emerges to visit Titanic in 2024, a plan that's drawing heat from the U.S. government. Here's how it works. All Titanic expeditions have to be cleared by one court in Norfolk, Virginia, and all salvage rights to the Titanic are owned by one company in Atlanta. That company, RMS Titanic Inc., is asking the court to greenlight a trip to the Titanic in May 2024. But the U.S. government is asking the court to kibosh their plans. That's because the U.S. signed an agreement with the U.K. in 2019 to limit expeditions that go inside the Titanic. And that's exactly what RMS Titanic Inc. wants to do. The company has its sights set on the Marconi Telegraph used to transmit Titanic's distress signals. The U.S. says that violates its agreement with the U.K. Legal experts in the U.S. say this challenge could take years to resolve. Rob McCallum says it's not worth it. I just can't think of anything that we need to recover from the wreck uh, that would add new or um, uh, different information than we already have. There are a number of exhibitions uh, circling around the world. It's time to move on from Titanic and go and explore other parts of the ocean, which uh, so far uh, are not known to us. If a mission goes ahead, RMS Titanic Inc. says it will be unmanned, as it's still too soon after the Ocean Gate disaster to send people back down to the wreckage. Ryan Cook, CBC News, St. John's.